Today, Donald Trump made it official. He's not going to join the first GOP presidential debate next week, uh, Wednesday. And in a leaked debate memo yesterday, drafted by the heads of the pro DeSantis super PAC, we learned the Florida governor plans to take a sledgehammer to Vivek Ramaswamy, defend Trump and attack Biden in the media. Let's do some pre-gaming and debate it ourselves. If who they really uh, want to match up with is Ramaswamy, let's get Team DeSantis, Team Ramaswamy, and get after it. Sam Nunberg for DeSantis and for Ramaswamy, his national grassroots director, Kathy Barnett, whom you've met on the show before. First, Nunberg, good to see you. Um, good to see you. The memo. The, there's been some uh, yap out there that the memo is a fugazi. Uh, do you accept that the memo was leaked and that the points are the legitimate strategy plans? I think that the uh, I think that the memo could was certainly put on that website. However, I'm not so sure that the campaign that the super PAC necessarily cares whether or not the memo's out. I, I've never seen a super PAC uh, put out uh, strategic memos. What you do see, which is what they did, is put out uh, their polling, and uh, that was that was more. Uh, beneficial, I think, for the DeSantis campaign, especially when you looked into it and you looked into the bylines and you looked into the pool of voters and the targets that DeSantis' is a super PAC um, already has set forth and uh, the contacts in terms of particularly Iowa, where I would tell you that uh, no matter no, what right, you right, see. Right, right, right. But Sam, I'm talking about I'm, I'm talking about the nature of the memo that uh, targeted mm -hmm. Ramaswamy as who you wanted to go after. Are the polls getting well, to you guys? Why would you target him? Uh, well, look, I think Ramaswamy, the minute he announced his campaign, he's been attacking and targeting uh, Governor DeSantis from the very beginning. And if you look into it, nobody has uh, has uh, looked into his record at all. I, I just took a quick look at it today, Chris, and I was very shocked to find out that the guy is basically um, a complete, I would say, fraud. If you look at what he did in, uh, when he had a company go public claiming that he was going to cure Alzheimer's, he sold, he sold all the stock of that company before the clinical trial came out showing that the drug was going to fail. He was telling everyone that he wasn't a part of some other company that he took public. That's what I thought, Chris, because I used to always see him on another network. And meanwhile, he's been the chair of that company. He only resigned when he wanted to run for office. And that company, considering the fact that he's saying that he's against woke and he's against ESG, et cetera, that company's major shareholders are all ESG funds. And just today, Chris, just today, he was uh, served with a lawsuit in another uh, fund that he found where two employees are claiming that they were instructed to uh, violate SEC guidelines. I mean, if you look at this, this is the guy that this is the guy. Right, so that let's give him a chance has. to defend. Yeah. Barnett. Yeah, clearly. Ramaswamy yeah, is a fraud. Clearly. Well, listen, clearly, Ron DeSantis need all the help he can get. And I think what you're watching now with the gentleman that you have on air is what you're going to see on the debate stage with Ron DeSantis and several others. But you're is it find true? Them all night trying to punch up, trying to punch up. Uh, and <laughs> but so, is it true? And, 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 when you, and when you ask the question, is what true? Did is he true? sell the shares of the company? Before the testing came out that showed the drug doesn't work, uh, does he sit on the board of the you know company what, last, that? Uh, last, er, er, earlier this week, you had a debate or, or a town hall, and and several of those questions were were asked and answered. Then, getting back to the uh, uh, leaked dossier of uh, DeSantis, absolutely, it is exact. It, it is it is authentic, and again. Ron DeSantis need all the help he can get, but this is just one of many underhanded ways in which one side of the political campaign speaks to the other side. Most people know that when you're talking about something underhanded and sleazy is that a super PAC is not supposed to uh, communicate with the campaign. There's supposed to be a firewall, but in, in some underhanded and kind of sleazy ways, you have certain 
uh, PACs, like in the DeSantis case, put information out in a, in, a, in a public domain where only the campaign is supposed to know where to go and find mm. it. Unfortunately, there are a bunch of rubes, and they put the information on their website itself. And, of course, New York Times got it. Very embarrassing. And you know that it is true because the information, over 100 pages of them talking about either they're going to spend the night on the debate stage kissing up to Donald Trump, attacking Joe Biden, Biden are trying to uh, are trying to punch right. up to Vivek and well, all the while. All right, so let me go what back. Is being Can I get said a little back to the other side? Hey, thank you for watching. Please go to newsnationnow.com, newsnationnow.com, and you can find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button down below. Then you will get more of News Nation's fact-driven coverage.